A message for Maleficent. It was a time of celebration. King Stefan was getting married. He had chosen a kind princess from the neighboring kingdom to be his queen. The king's subjects rejoiced, but no one was happier than the three good fairies, Flora, Fauna and Merryweather. The three hurried to the castle to help the king and his future bride, Princess Leia, with the wedding plans. Princess Leia had many ideas for her wedding, but she was new to the kingdom and did not know whom to invite. She wanted to make sure that no one in the kingdom was missed, so she asked the good fairies to make and deliver the invitations. Blue wedding invitations, Meriwether said excitedly. Can you think of anything lovelier? With a flick of her wand, she created a large stack of blue envelopes. Oh no, that won't do. They should be pink, Flora said, changing the envelopes to a pale pink. Blue, Meriwether said, changing them back. Back and forth the envelopes went until at last they settled on a light purple that both fairies had to agree was quite nice. On the other side of the room, Fauna was hard at work on the guest list. We don't need to invite too many people, she said thoughtfully. Just the local royalty and noblemen. And all the king's subjects, of course. Oh, and every fairy, hedge witch, and wise woman in a hundred mile radius. At Fauna's words, Flora looked up. Do you think we should invite... Her voice trailed off. Maleficent? Meriwether asked quite quietly. The fairy, Maleficent, lived high on the Forbidden Mountain. Her presence rarely, rarely brought any good cheer, but still, she was one of the king's subjects. With a sigh, Fauna nodded. I suppose we must, she said. Meriwether shuddered. Just thinking about Maleficent gave her the shivers. Who will we get to deliver the invitation, she asked. The way to Maleficent's castle is treacherous, and we cannot risk the invitation getting lost. One of us will have to go, Flora said. She flicked her hand, and a dove appeared from her wand. It circled the room three times and then landed on Meriwether's shoulder. It was up to her to deliver the invitation to Maleficent. The next day, Meriwether set off for Maleficent's castle. By evening, she had reached the woods around the Forbidden Mountain. Her magic was weak here. She would have to walk. Meriwether looked at the winding path that led into the woods. It was getting dark, and the wind moaned airy through the trees. Shivering, Meriwether pulled her wand out of her cloak pocket. With a flick of her wrist, she lit the tip of the wand. The warm light comforted her, and she bravely continued on the path. Alas, Meriwether was not alone in the woods. Maleficent's minions, the goons, were out patrolling. Even worse for poor Meriwether, the evil creatures loved causing mischief. I'll be there soon. Everything will be fine, Meriwether told herself as she tried to take her mind off the spookiness of the dark woods. But as she turned around, a curve in the path, three of the goons jumped at her. Screaming, Meriwether ran down the path as fast as her little legs could carry her. Finally, she lost the goons. Those wicked creatures, she said when she had calmed down. I'd like to scare them and see how they'd like it.
Meriwether looked around. Somehow, it seemed the woods had grown even darker. A cold wind blew through the trees, chilling the little fairy to the core. Meriwether wanted nothing more than to turn back, but their other fairies were counting on her. As Meriwether made her way down the path, she noticed the trees grown closer and closer together. Large thorns stuck out from the trunks, making it impossible to get through without a scratch. Suddenly, a chorus of loud howls echoed through the woods. It sounded like the cries were coming from right behind Meriwether. Oh, fiddlesticks, she yelled as her cloak caught on a thorn. The goons had been bad enough. She certainly didn't want to meet any wolves in the dark woods. Meriwether freed herself from the tree and hurried down the path as carefully as she could. The sooner she delivered the invitation, the sooner she could get back to the bright, warm castle. Finally, Meriwether reached the edge of the woods. A giant stone staircase loomed above her, leading to Maleficent's lair. Up, up, up Meriwether climbed until at last she came to a rickety bridge. On the other side was Maleficent's castle. Its jagged peaks rose into the sky, and a dark storm cloud circled overhead. Meriwether looked nervously at the bridge. It looked like it could collapse at any moment. Tucking the invitation into her cloak, she stepped onto the bridge. The wood shook and creaked with every step the little fairy took. Meriwether kept her eyes on the stone landing ahead of her. Below her was a deep chasm. If the bridge gave out, she would have a long way to fall. Finally, Meriwether reached the other side. As she stepped onto the landing, a blast of green magic burst out of Maleficent's castle and a loud scream filled the air. This was the last trial for Meriwether. She took out the invitation and carefully placed it on the castle's doorstep. Then, without looking back, she raced across the bridge, down the steps and through the woods. She was so busy running away, she didn't see the goons who had been following her. Pick up the invitation and scamper off with it. Meriwether didn't stop until she reached King Stefan's castle. She found Flora and Fauna in the Great Hall. Why, Meriwether, dear, whatever is the matter? Flora asked. Maleficent had better come to this wedding, Meriwether said when she had caught her breath. The journey to deliver that invitation nearly scared me to death. Flora smiled at Meriwether. Come now, she said. How bad could it really have been? Soon the day of King Stefan and Princess Leia's wedding arrived. Everyone in the kingdom gathered for the happy event. Everyone, that is, except for Maleficent. From high on the Forbidden Mountain, the fairy looked down on the celebration. Look at those fools! She said aloud, Who do they think they are, not inviting me to their celebration? Well, enjoy it while you can. I'll get you for this. Someday. If you like this video, please leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe.